And it's all about the green today, obviously, but in this case, we're not talking about St. Patrick's Day. John Potter takes a ride on the revolutionary new electric bus the RTC has been trying out this week. Craig Pena has been driving the bus in Reno for 24 years now. When he started, his first bus was... Kind of like an old car, you know... <laughs> Smell pretty bad, very slow. Today, he's behind the wheel of the very latest, 60 feet long, running up and down South Virginia. This coach is faster than any of our diesel powered coaches. 100 years after folks were getting around on streetcars in Reno, we're now in the age of air conditioned Wi Fi equipped flex buses, and this is the latest ride. It's the largest battery operated bus in the world. And as you can hear, it's a quiet machine. You know, you just hear barely a hum compared to the... I, I hear birds outside. That's what I hear. <laughs> it's the wave of the future. It has a 170 mile range, so it only needs one charge a day. Freeway, don't worry about it. Huh? Okay. John Kelly has been a Reno bus rider since the 70s. He finds this... Marvelous. I mean, you, you cut out the... Uh, the smoke, the admissions. That's important to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have COPD. As far as it being an electrical vehicle, I think that's a good thing. Electric vehicles have gone from zero to competition in just five years. This one's a good ride, but it's not perfect. It does take emissions to make the electricity, and without using gas, it won't pay its way in road taxes, but it also won't have this. We don't want Reno to be about smog. We want Reno to be about clean air. He tells me they'll probably get a grant to have this bus here permanently. It would join the current fleet of four electrics with plans for more. We'll be acquiring four more probably in late 2016, early 2017. And that was all we had time for. Our stop was already here. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News.